Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 2 of the self-driving car with lane detection using Raspberry Pi. In this video, we will extract the path from our image so that we can calculate the curve present in it. So, let's get started. Okay, so the next step is to actually create our uh, function for lane detection. So we are going to write here, get lane curve. And as I have mentioned before, we just need to send an image to it and it will return us the value of the curve. So we will send it an image and we will return uh, a value of curve so right now we don't have anything so we will return none so I have broken this uh, lane detection part to actually five different steps so the step one is basically thresholding then we have warping then we have the summation of the pixels then we have averaging and then we will finally display so let's start off with the first one which is thresholding so as you have seen before, the image that we are using to sum the pixels is basically black and white. And wherever we have the lane is where we have white and whatever is the background is black. So we need to come up to this point before we can actually run the summation code. So to do that, we are going to use thresholding. So we are going to perform thresholding based on color because we know that our uh, path is white in color so we can just get the white pixels. But you can also do this with canny edge detector or any other type of edge detector because you will get good uh, edge lines. But in this case we are going to keep it simple because we have a controlled environment. So we will keep it simple and we will use color. So here we will say that our image image threshold is equals to now we will create a new function in the utilities and then we are going to call it thresholding thresholding and what we need is an image as an output and as an input we are also giving it an image so we will send an, Im an image and it will give us an image back so let's go to our utilities and over here let's import these two libraries so here we will write our function so thresh holding holding and we have our image and then we are going to apply some techniques so the first thing we will do is we will convert it into hsv space so image h hsv is equals to cv2 dot cvt color and we will send in our image and then we will say cv2 dot why there are two brackets cv2 dot uh, color then we will say bgr to hsv so this will convert it into hsv so then we are going to apply a range in which we want the color to be so we will say that our lower white is equals to numpy dot array and then we are just going to send in the values so here we will write 0 0 0 and we will copy this and we are going to write upper white so we will give the values of 179 255 and 255 so these are the maximum values and then we will uh, create a mask from this so we will say mask white is equals to cv2 dot in range and then we will send in our hsv image and then lower white and then upper white so this will give us the color that we desire that we have mentioned over here now how can we make sure that this is running properly so we can return our image uh, no mask white mask white and then over here so here we can display so we can write cv2 dot I am show and then we can write threshold and image threshold 
so then we are going to call our function which is get lane curve so that we can run this so after resizing we are going to say get lane curve and we are going to send in our main image so if we run this now so there you go so you can see that we have our video and then we have the threshold image as well so now we need to adjust these values to actually get our white area not just all the colors so what we can do is we can put here random values and we can try different things and see how it uh, responds but this is not the ideal way to do it but let's see uh, let's run this and see what happens so there you go so actually it's detecting everything except white but again so the idea here is to get the correct values so how can we get these correct values so here i have a script for this which is called color picker it's doing the same thing it's actually getting the lower and upper limits and then it's creating the mask and the the added on value is our track bars so we are able to move uh, adjust these values in real time so that we can see the the response and we can get the exact color that we want also we are stacking so all of this i have covered in one of my previous videos on color detection if you want to go in more detail you can have a look at that now all i will do is i will change my inputs so it's already here that it's saying our uh, main video source is our video one so let's run this and there we have it so this is our uh, what do you call video and it will not stop it will keep running because it has this code as well that checks for the frame count and it repeats so all we have to do is we have to grab these track bars and we can adjust our color value so if I move this around and you can see we have already getting good results if I just move the first one around so we can try moving each one of these and we can see what effect it has and we can try to get the best results now this is actually a pretty lucky case where i am getting it very easily but usually it will take a few tries to get the correct values so after some tweaking i found that the value of 80 over here and the value of 60 160 over here works the best so this is the value that we will be changing so this is uh, the value minimum and this is the hue uh, sorry hue minimum so we will go back to our utilities and over here we are going to change our value so the first one was 80 and the second one this was 255 and this one was 160 i think 160 yeah so if we run our lane detection now and there you go so now we are getting all the white areas so that is good to go so this is it for today's video in the next part we are going to warp our image uh, this is because we can get a bird's eye view of our lane this will help us better understand the amount of curve that is present in our lane now if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one